Hola, hola, hola. ¿Cómo están, mis amores? ¿Cómo están haciendo? Espero que están teniendo un muy buen día. Um, y déjenme saber qué están haciendo este fin de semana con el Thanksgiving y todo eso. With Thanksgiving and everything else, what are you all doing? What are you going to be up to? So we have another case that has come up with yet another mail for SA. That's all these males think about is sex. They cannot be trusted. You can't believe anything that comes out of their mouth. I can't say that enough. Women, stay away from them. Let them take themselves out. Let the trash take itself out. So let's get into this video. Um, Aerosmith, singer, uh, Steven Tyler's legal troubles get worse. I don't really listen to this type of music, but I know that there's a lot of people that know who this individual is. And he's been in legal troubles and they just got worse for him. So yet another example of a male exhibiting vile, ruthless, and unjustifiable behavior in the name of sex. It's like all they live for. It's all they live for, y'all. And the, it, it, it's, it's unthinkable. I don't, I, I can't even fathom. So let's take a look here. I think this is covered by a male. I think this one's covered by a male. So hopefully we can actually get some useful information from it. But just disclaimer, um, because I'm not sure if we will be able to since we're watching it together for the first time. For Aerosmith, for Steven Tyler continue to mount after mount. a second woman has now come forward and filed a lawsuit against him. This comes after about a year ago, a woman came forward with some very shocking claims. And the case also stood out because Steven Tyler appeared to reference it in his own biography, where he admitted to taking a teenage bride. And after so many years, the accuser said she decided to come forward after, for reasons that are unclear, he named her in the acknowledgements of his book. She said she didn't want to talk about this but ultimately decided to file the lawsuit after that occurred. So now the second lawsuit has been brought forth for an incident that took place in the 70s in New York from a woman who says she was assaulted by Tyler. Here's more. A second woman has filed a lawsuit against Steven Tyler, claiming he assaulted her decades ago. The accuser claimed she was a child model and had an opportunity to meet the band at a hotel in New York City. She says while on the way there, he forced her into a phone booth, kissed her, and groped her. She also says he simply assaulted her once they arrived at the hotel. The lawsuit says Tyler used his power, influence, and authority as a well-known musician to sexually assault her. Again, this comes a year after Steven Tyler was sued by a woman by the name of Julia Misley, who says that he assaulted her when she was a teenager in the 70s. She says as her parents were big fans of his, he persuaded them to give him legal guardianship so that she could travel with him around the country across state lines. Says she became pregnant with this child in 1975 and he persuaded her to get an abortion. Now, according to NBC News, it says he also argues that he had consent and immunity because Miss Lee's mother had signed over legal guardianship to him and that any statements from his memoir are inadmissible because of free speech. Now, back to this new case, the accuser says that Steven Tyler forced her into a phone booth. The woman alleges she was also assaulted at a hotel with Steven Tyler later because she was relying on a friend for transportation and they followed him to that hotel. Now, the woman says she immediately shared what happened with her sister at the time. And uh, she says that she was also assaulted at a hotel. A friend she was with decided to go to that hotel. She was relying on them for transportation and she says she's been suffering from permanent emotional and physical distress. She's been unable to enjoy normal daily life as a result. Steven Tyler has not responded directly to these allegations, but he previously denied any wrongdoing 
in the other lawsuit that was filed approximately a year ago. Likely more to come on both cases. That's your latest update from Rockfeed. Be sure to subscribe for the latest news and updates. What, what words? How much more do you need to see, ladies? How much more do you need to see? Then these idiot animalistic males will come to our faces and say, well, what's wrong with the age? Here we have yet another example. Two women coming forward, having been essayed, and one of them as young as 15. Parents delivered her on a silver platter. This is what the patriarchy, which was built by males, is. It is vile. This is what it does. But it's disgusting. Or why why is it disgusting? They ask me, why is it disgusting? Um, a 19-year-old or an 18-year-old being with an almost 40 years, 40 year old. If you don't see why that's disgusting, you are the problem. You are a predator. And most of you don't even have money to make, to make, to add salt to injury. So you don't even have a way of compensating the victims in the form of resources, because you ain't got any. But yet, you think you have the right to go after babies. A 19-year-old? That's a baby. They're old enough to basically just now be starting off on life. <laughs> Literally. That's it. They're like on step one. But you don't see what's wrong with that. Most of these males, if the law wasn't in place, they would be going for 14-year-olds. They would be going for 15-year-olds. They would be going for 12-year-olds. They don't care. They are animals. How much more do you have to see, ladies, to understand the danger that these species are and bring you don't even know that you're literally in danger when you're around any of them so we'll keep an eye out for any updates on this story as well but he's been sued this is the second one and this one this one just happened about a week or two ago And they do these behaviors and they don't think that they did anything wrong still. You see how he was trying to defend it? Oh, this happened so long ago and the parents said it was fine. So it, it was cool that I essayed and had sexual intercourse with a 15 year old, you know, what's, what's the problem? You see how they not only do it, but they have no remorse. They don't even have the ability to feel remorse. If they did, they probably wouldn't do it in the first place. They don't see women as human beings. They don't see you as a human being. So you think he's nice to you. Oh, he's saying, I love you. He's no, he's trying to literally own you like property. So he's acting pretending, lying to you. So 
let me know what your comments are. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe, comment below. Let me know what your thoughts are. The stories never end. <laughs> I've been making videos nonstop of this nature because they keep getting sued, especially now that the deadline is coming up. And that deadline needs to be extended. The deadline for survivors to be able to hold the predators accountable needs to be extended. There shouldn't be a deadline. That should be out in the open. Survivors need to have the right at any point in time to seek justice. At any point in time. It is the right thing to do. Why is there a time limit on it? I don't understand that. So we'll see if that gets extended. I think there's a time limit on it because they're trying to protect these males. The system is trying to protect these males. But they cannot be successful in doing that. They can't. Because they need women too much. They need us too much. That's why they didn't have a choice but to give us rights. They did not have a choice but to give us rights, the right to work, the the, the right to um, uh, open bank accounts. They didn't have a choice because they need us. They can't do it. They cannot do it. They can't get it done. And they're not going to have a choice with this either. They keep trying to protect these males. It's not going to work. Help me make sense of why there's a time limit on this. What other reason could there be? They're not gonna be able to protect these males because women are opting out in masses of dealing with these males. It's not happening. And we have so much more peace when we don't that there's no way that we're gonna go back to dealing with that, especially the more educated we become. The more you start to realize that this is a dangerous species. This isn't just like fun and games. This is not a movie. This is not Disney. Disney lied to you. This is not Disney. This is the real world. This is the truth about who they are. You're literally in danger every time you're, you're around one of them. It's dangerous for you. You need to understand that. And more and more women are started, are understanding that and they're opting out. So there is no saving them. There's no saving them. So you might as well remove the limit and do yourself a favor. Remove the time limit and do yourself a favor because that time limit makes no sense to me. I don't understand it. Prolonging the inevitable. All right, y'all, I got to uh, head out, jump off. Go ahead and leave your comment below, subscribe, like the video, and let me know what your thoughts are. I will talk to you in the next one. Bye.